Are you in the Halloween spirit yet? It is coming up. Uh, if you're not quite there, we have a book today that will definitely get you in the mood. It's called Death by Jack O'Lantern. There's a killer on the loose, and a woman tries to find him before he can strike again. Here to talk about this is Gwen Reyes, book critic with FreshFiction.com. Uh, I was telling you in the break, this sounds like exactly the kind of book I would run away from. Yeah, it's my speed. goal this whole month to just bring you scary, <laughs> scary books. But like I just said last don't like week, scary stuff. I know this one is again, it's a cozy mystery. So okay. uh, all the crimes happen off screen. You don't have to really worry about the gruesome details. But in this one, we have a farmer who not anybody in this town really likes is found dead in his pumpkin patch hmm. right before the fall Halloween festival and the planner of the festival is the one that found the body. Does it give anything away if I ask how he was killed? Is it really death by jack-o'-lantern? Death by jack-o'-lantern, yes. Was it was blunt by... force trauma. <laughs> Okay, it's sounding less scary now, and, 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 and again, it fits into, what do we call it, the cozy? It's called a cozy mystery. So Is that really a category? It's really a category, okay. so it's kind of I like if you, you think made that of, up last week. like if you think of um, uh, Murder, She Wrote, that's right. a definitely a cozy mystery, where it all kind of happens small town, mm. a little spooky, but the crimes all happen off screen, so you don't actually have to, like, worry about the gruesome details or getting too scared by it. Okay, so I'm not going to run away from this no, one at full no, speed. No, 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 it's maybe funny a, and sweet. It has a little bit of a romance Maybe the book you get to in a few weeks is the one I'll oh, want to run away scary. from. So, and and, and then this one also has sort of that whole sleuthing thing going on as well because we've got a woman who's kind of on to something here and she wants to make sure that this doesn't happen again and so you kind of follow her along to solve this mystery. Yes, and she's new to town so she's always kind of getting her nose in the situations which I think will probably pay off in future books but with this one, everybody still really loves her and she's very popular within the mm -hmm. committees of all the different townships but she, she just keeps finding these dead bodies and I feel like kind of bad for her in that way. <laughs> it's always those new people to town yes. though in these small towns I would who, run. who figure it all out. Yeah, and you're like, why did you stay yeah, there? Yeah, get out of town. <laughs> uh, so this really does kind of get you in the mood for the season, mm -hmm. especially if you really like Halloween and it doesn't scare you to death exactly. in the process. Exactly, and it's got, it's got nice fall flavors to it, and it's definitely going to feel very cozy, especially as the weather gets a little bit uh, cooler. You'll want to be cozying up with a new blanket with it. Did you have a uh, pumpkin spice latte when you were reading this? Uh, of course I did, oh, and apple cider did. vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> or apple cider, uh, Ooh, no, drink, not the vinegar. That'd be too Cut much. Cut that part. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gwen. Thank you very Thanks, much. Jason. Death by Jack-O-Lantern, it is called.